Welcome to Crazy Hank TV Survivor Chat. I'm your host, it's Nora TV. What another crazy episode we had tonight. But before we go on, if you like what we're doing, even if you don't like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, tell a friend, all that fun stuff, we'd really appreciate it. Now on to the recap. Uh, a lot going on tonight. Uh, well, Aaron, after being on the bottom and being blindsided a couple weeks ago, now feels like he's controlling the game. Now, he had a couple things where he's, a couple, you know, lines into it. I'm thinking, okay, this guy is gone. Because anytime you get that, or I'm, I'm, you know, I'm controlling the game, I'm this and that, usually that means you're booted out. But, you know, the editing's different, so we, who knows what's going on. Uh, are Dave and Chelsea a power couple? Well, not anymore. <laughs> anyway. That was going on, you know, you, you can't, you can't let on that you're, you just can't even, you can't even let on your friends with anybody anymore. You can't. These people are very paranoid. They're, they're looking for anything. And, you know, obviously that was behind someone going home tonight. Uh, Jamal, I thought, made a huge mistake at first. I thought he made a huge mistake when the others were going out on the water. They're taking the raft out. I think Jason was going on a hike. He said, no, no, I'm going to stay behind. I go, well, you're already on the bottom. Why would you stay behind? You need to be involved, uh, but yet he went out looking for an idol, and of course he found it. Again, I'm not going to keep harping on how easy these things are to find, but he, he, it's part of the game. He found it, and I, well, you know what, Jamal, good move on you. I, I didn't even see that coming, so s s I'll give you a thumbs up. Uh, they, then the boat comes, and it's the, uh, you know, they have to pick someone to go to Island of the Idols, and it's... They have to pick someone. I mean, it has to be, or someone has to volunteer. Of course, if everyone's like saying nobody would, would want, be, nobody in their right mind would want to volunteer because that puts a target on your back. So they're going back and forth, and who, you know? So finally, Nora goes, "I'll go, I'll go." And I'm like, "Nora, what are you doing? You're already on the bottom. Why would you go there and put a target on your back?" But that's Nora. Nora beats her own drum. So she goes there. She meets, uh, she meets Boston Robin Sandra, and she's you know going on, and she really likes watermelon. I know, I know it was just editing, but the part where she screams watermelon and the birds fly away. I, I laughed. I don't know if you laughed, but I thought that was funny. Um, and then she's... Uh, the problem, I think, the, here's my... Uh, here's the problem I think with Nora has in the game. She doesn't... I don't think she listens. Uh, because what they offered her, and they're giving her advice, and I did like the flashbacks where Poverty and and Robin and, 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 their, and Sandra, where they were giving, you know, showing old clips of how they manipulated parts of the game which is key to winning i don't think she was listening i i, I just i just don't think she i don't i don't think she's the type of person that listens i think she's just not a bad person she just has her own opinions and, and she's going to go with that because i wouldn't have taken the challenge i didn't think it was that the reward what you know okay you can cancel out someone's vote you're already going to island of the idols and it's so far it's put a target on it's put a target on people's backs people know that you might be coming back with an idol she was just getting a cancellation of vote. I would have said, look, it's not worth it for me to do that. I'm the caller. If you're the caller, that that you're controlling the challenge. If you lose, that put if you're especially if you're on the outs, that puts a huge target on your back. So I would have said no. And I think they were trying I think Sandra was trying to sorry about that. I think Sandra was trying to tell her to say no, but she wasn't listening. She did it even when they were going away. She's not the right person for this, and you know, on and on. And I go. Yeah, she shouldn't be doing this. So she gets back to camp, and her lie, again, nobody's telling them that, that Sandra and Rob are there. I still don't get it, but it is what it is, because I know uh, Kelly was worried about it. I thought for sure Nora would come back and blah, 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 but she didn't do it. I think she got so caught up in whatever lie she was trying to say, I think what she should have said, she should have told them up front. This is what it is, but if I'm the caller, I get an advantage in the game in in the in the challenge that's what she should have said you know but personally i still wouldn't have done it i wouldn't want to be the caller i i would play the coward coward way out and say no i'm not gonna be the caller so again it wasn't worth the reward so they we have some fun scenes with her trying to do the you know practice the challenge and she's not she's not getting it and you know so they all get the, they agree to do it and give her the challenge, but then when they get to the challenge, they have to sit someone out and they all say, we want Nora to sit out. And Nora's like, but you picked me. So she wasn't happy. And we didn't, we didn't get to see what happened later on because her team actually won. Jason was the caller. Um, but again, I, it is what it is. But uh, So she has to sit out and... Uh, 
so they go on the challenge and they got a huge lead and then it gets tight at the end, but they win. And so they don't have to go to tribal, which was probably the best thing for it. Because if they went to tribal, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet Nora would have been voted out at this point. I just, I just believe that. I just, because I just think she's just, you could tell because they had no confidence, you know, anyway, she, she would have been voted out. So we go, we go to tribal and it, it, great editing again. It was going back and forth. Um, you know, was it going to be Chelsea? Was it going to be uh, Chris, Chrisma? And I, they're going back. Uh, they're going all over the place. You didn't know who it was. I thought maybe it might have been Aaron. Even if, I was worried it was going to be Missy because I, I like Missy as a player. I think she's she's really smart. She, in fact, she I thought she was when they were going on. She was very direct. You know, saying you need to do this. You need if you're going to be the puzzle, step up to the. You better be able to solve the puzzles. So I thought it was a good tribal. Um, again, someone goes home with a, an idol in their pocket. Again, it's not like Vince where he can only use it twice. Uh, Chelsea's idol was good, you know, until the, you know, towards the end. But, uh, at the end she goes, she gets blindsided and she goes home with an idol in her pocket. And it's obviously because she was mixed up. I mean, they thought that her and Dean were going to be a power couple and it hurts you. I mean, I, I you see it every time. And even though she said, I don't, you know, hey, no, no, I'm not going to be in a showmance and all that different stuff. I think people knew and they were worried about her being, her and Dean being a couple. And when they didn't want to vote out Dean, she became next on the chopping block and she got kicked to the curb. So again, another interesting episode of Survivor. I really, I'm enjoying this season. I, I hope you guys are too. A lot of strategy going on. A lot of crazy people on <laughs> You know, a lot of lot going on. Some people, I forget they're even on the show. I mean, Dean, I always forget he's there, but he had a little more airtime this week. Uh, but you know, we're going to continue going on and, and pushing through. And don't forget that we do our Tribal Council podcast, our vidcast, tomorrow, tomorrow night, be up tomorrow night. And that's our roundtable with uh, Christy and uh, JP. And we'll discuss more detail what happened on uh, tonight's episode. And that's all I got. Again, subscribe. Thumbs up, share, all that fun stuff. Enjoy your night. I'm out. Hey, boy, no.